Welcome to Resale Mania. My name's Mikhail. I am a full-time reseller. In this video, it's two separate days of thrifting. I went to a couple stores a couple days ago, and then I did a full trip today. So let's hop into it. We are now outside of Four Corners Thrift, and it is half off day, half off the entire store. Uh, I have found some pretty good stuff here in the past, as you guys have might have seen in some of my older videos. So we are going to run inside here really quick and see if we find anything. But in the meantime, they still have about 10 minutes before they open, and it is a cold one, so I'm waiting in the car. I'm from Florida. I don't like the cold. No boy. Some Brooks for four dollars. Mm, maybe. This might be good. This, I'm pretty sure, is good. Even for 15. I've sold this before. I don't know if it's the exact model for over 100. I'll have to look up comps. 60, so 30. Man. I might get that. Uh, no. When I go to a store, what I do is I walk around first and I find stuff I think is valuable, I put it in the cart, and then from after I look around, then I'll look up comps and see if they're worth buying. An OEM apple cord for a dollar, and I think there's another one. Also a dollar. You know, probably for a dollar they're about 15 a piece, so I'm probably going to get both of these. A Garmin Vivo Smart Activity Tracker for uh, $2, and it looks like I can get about 30 free ship. This Sony Radio CD player is only 5 being half off, and it looks like I can get about 50 plus shipping for this model, if it works. I'm going to plug it in somewhere and test it. So that massager for $7.50 is definitely worth it. Uh, $1.45 plus shipping, $1.35, $1.32, $89 $108, $1.90 free ship. So yeah, for $7.50, that's a score. If this HP laptop didn't have the power cord, I wouldn't buy it, but this is an Elite Book 8560, and they want 10 for it being half off. And it looks like I can get around 60 as the average sale price. Some sell up to 100, but 60 is the more logical price point. This brand, Fish Pond, is a huge bolo. This is probably like a $50 fanny pack, at least. Maybe 60. Not bad, I paid $35.50 for everything. If everything works, I'm looking at around 400 in gross sales. Um, so maybe 300 in profit after everything's said and done. Well, maybe a little less if you take out cost of goods, like 270 in profit. Uh, but yeah, like 35 into 270, you can't beat that. Well, you can, but still good. If you guys are ever in Bozeman, make sure to check out Rethink Thrift. This is the best thrift store in the town. And now we're going to head inside to see if we can find anything good. I know some of these Abucus can be worth good money. This one's $3.99 and it looks like it sells for about $30. So I'm going to grab that. I've never sold something like this. These feel very fake. I'm not sure. Yeah. Eddie Bauer. I don't know a lot about toys. Isn't this the Masters of the Universe cat? $1.99. It feels cheap though. I don't know. Yeah, it says Mattel 1980. Uh, 1980 something on there. So yeah, I'm gonna get that for $1.99. Now I gotta check all the toys, make sure there's no more. Okay, I did not see any more uh, He-Man or Master of the Universe stuff, but it's still kind of cool to find that at a thrift store, especially for $1.99. This thing is massive. It's only $5.99. I feel like that has to be worth it. I'm going to Google Lens it. Alright, so new, it looks like it goes for about $100. Uh, free shipping, used, doesn't sell too well, and it's got some drawing in there, so I'm going to pass on it. It's too big. Don't pass on sunglasses. I've been actually selling quite a bit lately. 
These are fossils, so those are probably 20, 25 bucks, and they're 2.99. Easy to lift, easy to ship. That's cool. I'm not gonna get it, but it's super cool. And it's chipped. Inflatables sell really well for me, especially this brand. They want 30. I'm still here on half off day, I'll get it. All right, I only got the three things. But I mean, so I spent $8.97, and I should get roughly $50 in profit. Uh, so I mean, yeah, it's not, you know, a couple bread and butter items, nothing crazy, but you know, worth the stop. It is now a couple days later, we are outside of Rethink Thrift where it is half off everything in the entire store. So we're gonna run in here now and see if we can find anything to flip. Brand new Adidas for $12.50. Maybe. Get these bugs now that they're on half off day for seven fifty. If yeah. Carly for three. Kelty's a really good brand. I've never seen something like this before. But I know that brand's a bolo. I had never heard of this brand, but it is now a Bolo Duckworth. This jacket is $7.50 half off, and they sell consistently for $100 to $120. So when Jess is with me, she goes through the women's clothes because I'm too lazy to do it. This Prana jacket's four. I'll get that. Back in. Get these off the hooks. No, uh, Guy Hervey, no to that one. I, I yeah. this might be worth it, but There's I don't. No tags. What? One thirty-five. Yeah, but the resale values. I might. I'll look it up instead of here, but I don't like dresses. <laughs> Athleta sweater. Yeah. North face, long sleeve. These don't really sell for too much for me. I'll leave that one. Another, oh, no. Another North Face. A blood of. What are you doing? Shopping for a thrift store or something? Pretty much, yeah. No, I, uh, I resell. I sell the stuff online, yeah. And I have a YouTube channel where I film the stuff I find. Columbia. Sherpa. That's cool. Newest tags up, Letta. I've never heard of that brand. Look it up. And okay. Some pretty good finds. I'm going to grab this Cuisine Art bread maker for. 650. It's got all the stuff in it and it looks like I can get about 50 to 60 for it. Maybe more if I part it out. I just went back to double check the shoe section and this is my first time finding this brand. It's Mew Mew. I heard of it from a Hustle at Home Mom. And these go for about 100 to 150. Upwards of 200 depending on the model. That's insane and they're only going to be like $3. So that turned out to be a really good stop. Got this uh, Christmas inflatable. Obviously it's past Christmas now, but they do still sell. I paid 15 for it and should get around 60 for it. And then someone had just donated these and she actually let me grab these before pricing it. Uh, this pair of Crocs is used, so probably 25 bucks. I paid $3 each. And these ones are brand new, so probably $40. Uh, and then I got that jacket, which is Duckworth. It is filled with American wool. I had never heard of this jacket before or this brand. I looked it up and they sell consistently for over $100. And then I got all the clothing, all the clothing that Jessica found. Not gonna go over each piece. Some Birkenstocks, they're pretty worn, but I could still get about 20 for them. I paid 350 for them. I found a few pairs of sunglasses. One says Ray-Ban on it, I'm not sure, but there's only like a dollar each with half off. And uh, so probably 15 a pair. And, oh, the cards. Does the Athleta. Pay the rent tonight? 
<laughs> it should do the trick. That's part of it. Yeah. All right. You Thank you. So Thank you. The ladies who work here are the nicest. I got these bogs. Yeah, they always take good care of me here. I got these Adidas. I should get about 44. They're brand new. This Kelty pack. I've never seen a pack like this. I think it's for vehicles, but it's probably a $45, $50 pack. You guys saw the bread maker. A Solo is a really good brand. This is a good model of mountaineering boots. I paid $5. These are easily $60 to $70. I didn't look up this phone. I forgot to, but I'm sure it's worth the $4 I paid. We got this for a gift for someone's little bear wine opener. It was only $3.50. Not wine opener, wine holder. And then the find of the stop, these Mew Mew shoes. I, it, I heard of these from uh, okay. Hustle at Home. I, it's, it turns black after. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, from Hustle at Home Mom, and these sell insanely well. High sell through rate, 150 to 200. And I didn't see this model. It's got like these fake diamond studs. So that's a really cool find. But yeah, that wraps up this stop. We are gonna head to Goodwill next and a few other stores. Okay, I'm now outside of Goodwill. I took Jess home, as you can see. She had some stuff to get done. She just wanted to come with me to half off day. Now let's run into Goodwill. Analog ski jacket. Some Merrill slip-ons. It's a little too dirty for me. Some Hey Dudes, but not for $9.99. Some Danner boots, though, for $12.99. They're Gore-Tex. They're dirty, but... Hmm. Maybe. Some Oakley boots. How much are they? Oh, $19.99. Some Red Wing Irish Setters. Yeah. Uh, I think this is yeah dog training collar. Nine ninety nine. Pet pet. Mm, I'll look them up. Uh, they were not worth it. Like ten dollars plus ship. Of course, another one. <laughs> Sweet. A little Motorola baby monitor set. I'll have to look up the model, but some of these can be worth good money. Canon PowerShot SD, have to look it up. Some of these pet safe remotes can actually be worth pretty good money. This one's $5.99, but I, oh, nope, the antenna's broken. I have sold one for like $70 before, not this exact model. Apple remote for $7.99. Right now I'm just grabbing things, putting it in the cart and looking up later. A lot of Rainbird timers can be worth really good money. And the women's shoes are these Kizix for $7.99. Those are a really good brand. This is probably a $50 pair of shoes. I also found these Sorel boots for $9.99. Uh, I'm getting them because of the colorway, probably $45. Some Oboes snow boots for $12.99. I don't know. $12.99 is too steep. Some, oh my gosh, $12.99? Who is pricing stuff today? Some DC slip-ons. This model just takes a long time to sell. They are only $3.99, which is a good deal. I just don't want to deal with them. I find a lot of bogs in here, but they're usually in bad condition. $7.99. These aren't terrible. Hmm. I might get these. I think this style would sell in. It is the time of year. I'm telling you guys, stop passing up digital cameras, even if they look old and junky. This Canon Power Shop, 98, 120, 90, 45 for parts only, 85, 60. Like, that's insane. 9.99. Yep. I just looked up this Apple mouse. It's the model A1657. It goes for about 30 to 35 free ship. Ships first class. 7.99 is paying up for it, but I'm gonna get it. They sell really fast, it looks like, so. So this Rainbird irrigation timer, like I said, these sell really well. This model, they want 3.99 for it, and it goes for about $40 plus shipping. So I'm definitely gonna pick that up. This is a Motorola, Motorola monitor that goes for about 25, but each one of these cameras is Baby Sense, and they go for, oh, except for that one. 
they go for like 20 pe 20 a piece as well so this is probably a 60 dollar bag so for 9.99 i'll grab it this is a new brand to me it's got a duck on the front it's called southern marsh and these go sell pretty consistently for about 35 to even 50 dollars so it's in really good condition i'm gonna get that this will wrap up the stop it's a presto heat dish i usually get 60 to 70 for these and it's the time of year but yeah these sell really well for me glad i saw this on a new cart 9.99 peen golf bag with a Callaway Sure Out Tube Wedge, some ping irons, and a ping driver. That is a score for $9.99. That was a really good stop. I'm um, glad I saw that golf bag on my way out. It was in like a new cart, so I grabbed it. <sighs> I paid $117 for everything. The Callaway Wedge in there, it goes for about $70 plus ship. The golf bag alone, the whole set, like the bag and clubs will double my money. Uh, and the rest will be profit the bag i'll get 100 for the ping driver i'll get like 64 and i didn't look up the ping clubs but they're in really good condition um the canon camera if it works i'll make 90 percent of my money back just on that if not still half of the money back and yeah that was that was a really good stop for 117 now we're gonna head on over to the next place all right, we are now outside of Four Corners Thrift. Uh, we're going to run in here, see if we can find anything. But in the meantime, before I go in there, I would like to take this moment to ask you guys to subscribe, like the video. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying watching my content. If not, don't subscribe. But if you are... JVC Averio camcorder for six. I might grab that. This might be good. I'll have to look it up. Ooh, a wool rich wool sweater. That's really nice. See the Apple logo. I just gotta get to it. USB super drive for $12. Again, I'm just putting stuff in my cart right now. And then after I look around the store to uh, make sure I'm not missing anything, then I'll look stuff up on eBay, see if it's worth it. I've had really good luck with kids snow boots. These are the North, ooh, they're not for 15. If they're here on half off day next week, yes. But otherwise, I could only get about 30 for them. Believe it or not, but used razors do sell. This Remington little palm one, I can get about 30 for it and they want four. I don't always pick up Fitbits, but because it has the charger, I'm gonna get it for five. I could probably get around 30 to 40. Cool fossil bag, eight. Mm. I'm gonna hold off. All right, I'm putting this back. It goes for like $29.99 free ship. So for 12, no profit. So I ended up only paying $14 for everything in this bag uh, cause I had a $10 off coupon card. So the Woolworth sweater, I should get about 25 for. This, I couldn't really find much on it. It's like a headset. I, I'm gonna shoot for 25 to 30 and just give it a shot. And then, the JVC camcorder, it's actually a pretty good model. This one goes for about $50 to $75 if it works. It does have a battery. I do have a cord to test it. If it doesn't work, it's, I can still get about $30 for it. So that's a pretty good deal for only paying $14 for everything. Uh, yeah, so I'm trying to think. We're gonna probably head to the one thrift store down by the college campus and then the, the, the one we usually wrap up the day at. So I'll see you guys there. What is this? Got a DVD player, recorder, video, mm, DVD, video. Some of these Logitech webcams can do pretty good. This one's only three bucks. I'll look up the model. Right. I'm gonna get these Crocs for five. And I found these Hoka's. It's an older model, but they're in really good condition besides being dirty. They do want 10, but I could probably get 35. And this model of Keen does really well. It's 10, but I could probably get like 35 to 40 for them. Saw these Merrells down here. They're really dirty, but 10 bucks, really good tread. Uh, yeah, really just dirty. These are probably a $50 pair of boots. Ooh, too much tread wear. Another pair. Decent tread left, but 
really dirty. 18. Maybe it's the Bondi Apes. So that's like one of the newest Bondi models. So maybe. This is a Mountain Hardware Monkey Fleece. This model sells really well for about 35 to 40. I definitely paid more for that stuff than I wanted to. I paid 91 in total for everything. I paid $25 for that pair of Hoka's in the case, but it was they were in such good condition, just need a little wipe down. I should be able to get 90 to 100 for those because it's the uh, Hoka Bondi 8. The ones I paid 18 for, I should get 65 to 70 once I clean them up because they were in good shape, just really dirty. And yeah, the rest of the stuff, you know, the Logitech camera should go for about 20, 25 free ship, and that's gonna be first class. Um, what else did I get? The hard monk, uh, the mountain hardware monkey fleece is an easy $40. It'll sell very quickly. And the other pairs of shoes are bread and butter. So I'll triple my money on everything. Not bad, not the best margins, but it's profit. Last stop of the day, do over thrift. Some oboes winter boots for ten dollars some how much are these 25 Ooh, some air forces for 25 not quite worth it what brand are these oh oboes as well yeah 15 is too much though i have never seen a helmetics massager that looks like this eight dollars i'm gonna look it up but i guarantee that's a that's a buy I just found these two Adam Golf wedges. They're in good condition. I'm not sure how much clubs are here. I think they're like $3, but I'm not sure. But if, if so, they're about 30 to 35 a piece. I also found these Solitude headphones. Uh, they seem to go for about $50. They have a slow sell through rate, but they're only three. It's looking like I can get about 50 to 60 for this massager. So for eight, I'm gonna grab it. All right, so this is on a new rack. I, it's $20, which I thought was a lot. I looked up this brand. It is a goose down jacket, and it looks like I can get about 90 to 100 for it. So I'm probably gonna get that. I ended up not getting the down jacket, but the clubs were $5 a piece. Um, I paid $31 for everything. Just one of the clubs will get me back all my money, and the rest will be profit. So, Ooh, that's some, that's some weird lighting. Hang on. That's a bit better. Okay, well that wraps up the stop. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys found some value in my video. Maybe learned a new brand, a new bolo. If so, please consider subscribing. It would help me out a lot. Uh, some really cool videos coming soon. And with that being said, hope you guys have, have a happy new year. I'll see you guys next year. Get it? Next, next year. Okay, bye.